Hello, Leo. Welcome and welcome back. This is a tarot reading for Leo for January 15th. I was getting fight fire with fire. Okay, so you may be dealing with another fire sign when I say that. And I feel the feminine energy is coming off as more mature here. Okay, yeah, and then the hermit flips, of course. There's something about maturity here, Leo. You're maturing. You have a lot of wisdom coming to you. There's a lot of things that you've learned about yourself, and you are learning about yourself. This is paving the way forward. I feel that you're here to help guide people at this time, or there's something about what you've learned prior that you're able to help guide people that you come across, okay? Even if it's just like little things that you say here and there in public or you see someone in passing it's almost like people are seeing you as a spirit guide they're kind of thinking was that a real person or was that my spirit guide so that's kind of how you're coming across to people <laughs> this time period okay let's see leo please Yeah, I don't know. Spirit guides are speaking through you, guys. All right, we have the eight of wands. Yeah, I do feel like you have a lot of spiritual messages coming. It's like you're getting a lot of downloads. There's a lot of information from spirit guides. So I feel like it's easy for you to understand it and then um, relay it to people around you and people are sensing this, okay? In other news, if this is about your partnership, look, I'm telling you, this is like spiritual energy, you have a lot of spiritual energy here blessing the people that you work with, the people that frequent your home or um, whatever. Yeah, there's like a family here. I'm also getting graduation. Okay, hold on. You have temperance, empress energy for your situation, and there's a fire sign popping up here and here. So yeah, you may be dealing with a fire sign in this reading. You don't have to be, but there's definitely someone showing up this way, okay? I feel like you are um, definitely trying to temper someone's energies. You could be trying to help them mature. You're telling them to be like wine, okay? Um, also, being like water means to be very fluid and flexible because water assumes any um, container that you put it in. It, it assumes the shape of it. So I feel like you're talking to somebody about this. This could be about this person's feelings. You may feel like whoever you are dealing with, um, their feelings need to be tweaked a little bit or their expressions about their feelings need to be tweaked a little bit. Okay. Why is the Empress energy here? Empress energy, this is mother energy. What's this about? I'm getting like a nurse energy here. There's like something about a nurse or like nursing. Okay, we have the three of cups, the eight of swords, the moon card. And the sun card. Huh. So there's a woman here <clears throat> in this reading that is really hard to figure out. It's like people are trying to understand this woman for whatever reason. And somehow this is hindering the growth of the situation. So the relationship here that we're picking up all hinders, all hinders, hinges upon understanding this relationship with this woman or this woman's moods or this woman's feelings, okay? This could be you, Leo, because you're coming up here, but it's like there needs to be some sort of clarity surrounding like your real thoughts or your real feelings here. Things that you share to the public versus things that you keep private, why does this have to do with anything? Okay, let's go to temperance really quick. Um, okay, tell me about temperance, please. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm like, I don't know what this is about right now. Okay, temperance. All right, the three of cups. Okay, so you have the page of pentacles. 
the Queen of Swords and the Hierophant. Oh. So someone feels a little bit unconventional here. Okay. And I feel like you are trying to manage um, almost like respect. Okay. It feels like you deserve respect or you're demanding respect here, but it's just the way that you show up. Um, I feel like you want someone to be more respectful or to act more less, I guess, fiery. Let me tell me about this queen of wands. Let's talk about this person. Because right now it looks like you feel you need some sort of adjustment. And maybe that's why we were talking about it this way, about the woman, the way the woman feels or whoever this is, male or female, doesn't matter. It's empress energy. You're basically saying um, that you need things to go a certain way or like they you expect them to be certain ways. And maybe this is just your aura that's letting people know this here. So it's like forcing people to mature or to grow up or to kind of, um, yeah, like wine, like fine wine. Like people need to age like fine wine here because I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit rambunctious or a little bit too playful here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands energy? What's this about? The Queen of Cups. Okay, the Emperor. This may be an Aries. Okay, someone over here is um, kind of in their feelings and not in a very helpful way. So that could be why you're kind of telling this person or, you know, you want this person to be acting more responsible, I would say. And they're kind of throwing some sort of tantrum or like a hissy fit. But this person's way too old to be doing this or they're, they're much too old to be acting this way. There's something like this going on with this person here. Okay, they just completely refuse to gain control of the situation or they're refusing to do anything to make people get on the same page here. It's like they are pretty much saying, nope, not doing it. I don't care. And they're, they're pretending to look in another direction, but they're actually looking back at you. This could be also someone who is on some sort of break or they're wanting to be on some sort of break here because of this. <clears throat> Interesting. They don't feel understood. I feel, oh wait, is this you? Cause you showed up with the hermit. There's a misunderstanding here, a big one, a big misunderstanding about someone's feelings. This is someone who does not feel understood emotionally. They're saying, you don't know how I feel. And maybe it's because they're not really expressing it the way that they're supposed to be. So I don't know if they've realized that. So I feel like you're here trying to get on the same page with this person, Leo, from what I can see. I feel like your first approach didn't really work here, but there's another one. Okay. This is all about you kind of being like a guide even, or like a helping hand, or like someone who knows better, or someone who understands people, or something like that is going on. What the heck? All right. How do you see this person? How do you see this person? Leo, how do you see this person? The Seven of Swords. So you think they're sneaky, they're combative. Yeah, you think this person's keeping secrets. Maybe it's a woman that they're hiding here, all right? There's something secretive about a woman that people don't understand, so that could be. You feel like this person is like uh, emotionally tumultuous from <laughs> pretty much, and that they don't 
okay, they're not owning up to something here. They're not telling the truth about something. They'd rather just sit back and like let it all fall apart. And, you know, they have some certain regrets about it, but they're not they're not doing anything to fix it is what it's looking like. So you feel like this person needs to apologize. They haven't been acting in order or orderly or there's something about disrespect happening here. OK, um, it could be because of a lack of honesty. So, yeah, dishonesty here with the moon and the sun. It's like something became blatantly clear between you and this person. And it could have highlighted some certain secrecies or whatever this is that people are trying to run and hide from. OK, because I do feel like this person's not wanting to address something with you right now. Let me see how this person sees you, Leo. How does this person see you? The seven of wands to see you as being mad all right how does this person see they see you with the queen of wands so first of all they think you're all fiery all right which makes sense you are a fire sign but they feel like you're um attractive i will say that so you're attractive you guys are seeing each other the same way you guys might feel similar ways about one another or you guys are both attracted to one another in the same type of way like you guys are both attractive people the ace of pentacles so they feel like you're right oh my gosh this person is saying that you're right okay i don't know what it is they're just saying you're right um, you're right to be mad or you're right to be doing what you're doing here or it's like, ugh, how do I say this? So you are right. Whatever you said or whatever you understood here about this person, you're right. And they know it. They know it. You found out something and you asked them about it and they refused to answer. You're right. Okay. You tried to tell them, um, hey, it would be better this way. You're right. And they're refusing to own up to that. If you tried to give them some kind of advice or like some good information, you were right and they don't want to admit it. Okay. Okay. This is an interesting reading. All right. What do you want with this person, Leo? Leo, what do you want with this person? What do you want with this person? Lovers. The Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Well, you're, you're looking at it. You're like, okay, well, uh, is this person going to reconcile, or are we both just going back to our past lives, basically? Oh, for me to say it like that, maybe this is a past life soulmate for you. Okay, I feel like the cat's out of the bag here. I don't know exactly what it is, but it definitely was being addressed. I'm, I'm so tired of like um, that same storyline that pops up in your reading sometimes. So I'm trying not to say, like, okay, it might be another person, but we don't need to like focus on that, you know? It's always in your reading lately. Um, so I feel like you are kind of considering some sort of reconciliation with this person but at the same time it's it's like a choice that needs to be made and adhered to i'm not sure this person's working with you or against you right now this is someone very stubborn set in their ways they don't want to fold they don't want to bend all right because you're right <laughs> okay you were right what does this person want with leo I feel like you want this person to come forward anyway. They need to, they, yeah. Okay, look, they're doing world card. They're doing judgment in the moon. <clears throat> wow, excuse me, guys. I'm still healing from the illness. If you can't tell by my voice. Um, What's this? Something is coming to a close. Hmm. They want to tell you the truth. There's something that they want to tell you. They want to get it off their chest. They want to clear the air. They want some mutual understanding between you and them. And uh, I feel like this is 
somehow alluding to an end of a cycle as well so it's like ending something possibly starting another thing i feel like they fear that they're going to be on their own here is what it's looking like it's kind of like man i want to tell them i'm afraid i don't know if i have it in me i don't know if i have the courage or i don't know if i'm able to or maybe they just don't want to could be coming from a place of like not knowing okay i feel like they're kind of worried about this whole thing just going to crap with you though but that doesn't seem that way because of what's going on you know what i mean like they don't act like that at all very stubborn energy today what's this all right leo next moves what are Leo's next moves? Leo's next moves, please. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Well, they're talking about it. There it goes. There's a world card. They're saying that they're trying to say something to you or they're trying to confess to something or they have some news to tell you here, okay? They want to be talking about it. And uh, what are you doing? Well, you're winning here. I don't know what. You're just kind of like, all right, I'm just going to move on with this. I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep my energy going here is what it's looking like. But I feel like you're you're looking. Hold on. Let me clarify this because I'm just getting a vibe. What is this? At Leo's. Okay, your queen of swords again. You're basically telling this person about some cycle that keeps happening here. Like, it's, I don't know, is this a behavior behavioral pattern or some sort of cycle that you're being made aware of? Cause you're looking for like this adjustment. You're looking for this per. You're you're looking for this Aries, okay, to put a stop to something. Um. Maybe just to come forward or to even communicate with you. It's like you're looking for them to do that. <clears throat> What's behind this? Excuse me, guys. Let me see. Okay, this person's next moves. Okay, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> oh no. All right, those are, uh, all right, yeah, you got your communication coming in. So they are, they are. They're wanting to face it. They're going to, oh wow, here is your victory. They're going to come forward. They're going to say what they need to say. They're going to express their feelings. There is some sort of um, Six of Cups type energy coming up here, okay? So there's definitely some sort of reconciliation. The way that you're wanting, it's happening. The Six of Swords is coming in. The Six of Cups is coming in as well as the, uh, the Six of Wands. Wow, so you get your clarity. You get your mutual understanding with this person. There's an open, honest conversation coming in. Okay. I feel like you've been looking forward to this. Is this a phone call? This is like almost like someone wants to come over and see you or talk to you here. Um, so what the heck? Hold on. Something about this feels like, um, Hmm, how do I say this? Let me, let me get you. Yeah, the two of cups. you have this new beginning coming in between you and this person. I feel like it has to do with, I mean, it's kind of like, 
if you're able to kind of work this out with this person, which I see that you are, there's a big possibility, probability even that you can work this out with this person. Of course, you have to want to, or this person has to want to, to be able to be on the same page with you. You're looking forward to this. You got the two of cups coming in. This is a Something is changing in your favor here. But I also feel like it might take some time or it's taken too long. And you, you might get a little bit like, um, I don't know, I almost feel like you're like over it. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like there's some vibe about you feeling like this is, like you're getting over it or it's like too late or something like this. There you are. The hangman and the three of cups. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. This feels like a, a limited time offer here for you. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, so you get your reconciliation, guys. It's coming in if you want it, of course. Um, let's get you, well, let me put it this way. Three cards for Leo, and then we'll put a an oracle hip hip hooray hip hip hooray the eight of cups the page of wands the eight of pentacles and the four of pentacles Ooh, there's your eight of cups here i mean the eight of cups is here the eight of pentacles Mm. I see you feeling like you want to leave this alone right here. Someone's being manipulative back here, by the way. The devil and the five of swords with the magician. I feel like someone wants to walk away and it like causes the other person to... It's like a manipulative thing, like to walk away so that it shifts the power dynamic or something like that. It looks like a plan, like someone planned this or did this or is doing this. Okay, tell me about this. Uh... Anyway, your communication is coming in, like, like we said. Aw, Ace of Cups. Look at that. All right, guys. Aw. So this person and you are able to lay your burdens to rest. It feels like someone is working on opening up more. That could have been some sort of issue here or kind of being open to suggestion even for whoever this is that wants to be hard-headed, okay? I do feel like maybe you're dealing with someone at an age difference. I've picked this up for you before, which is why it's kind of like sticking out to me again. Um... <clears throat> there's definitely peace love restored you guys can yeah they want to lay down their burdens with you it's really hard for someone to open up here is what it's looking like okay i feel like they're working on that whoever this is okay you got a cup of love coming in leo it might be from a sagittarius or a pisces coming in um, we got Virgo. Yeah. All right. So let me get you one of these. Gosh, it's like, yeah, you need, it's two to tango. You need mutual respect. You got to work on it. It's not just like, yeah, I feel like this is part of the conversation or like the topic of conversation. It's like the way commitments work or the way relationships with people in general work or how to treat people like 101, like social skills or something like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Leo, please. Okay. Ooh, the morning star, be quiet. Somebody says that their ego okay my ego is in service of my soul and i trust my soul's divine timing yeah maybe somebody's ego okay it happens healthy ego is one thing okay 
But ego that kind of um, is too much or it's not letting you open up to some sort of person or a relationship that you're wanting to experience with somebody, that's when it's a problem. Okay, wow, Isis, this is naughty, naughty. You have the goddess of magic. Look at you. Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. I feel like you're bringing something back to life. You're bringing this person back to life, okay? It's coming back to life, guys. You have it right here. That cup overfloweth. Feel free to check your other placements here on the January playlist. Your friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom and Peep and Tawny down the street. Check their placements too. So we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love. Yeah, bye.